let me present a sample lecture entitled Workflow Control. This lecture introduces the topic of workflow control. First, it defines workflow control and then defines methods by which workflow control may be implemented. Finally, I display some examples of simulation models of workflow control. Workflow control refers to regulating the flow or pace of arrival of work. This could mean controlling the flow of products being assembled in a factory, or controlling the pace of services being performed by customers. The objectives in workflow control are to maintain order in the process, limit congestion, and very often to control the asset value of work in progress. Workflow control is frequently associated with the pull system. This system is frequently, frequently represented in the literature with conflicting definitions. In particular, it is frequently classified as make to order. But I prefer the definition composed by Wallace Hopp and Mark Spearman in their 2004 MSOM paper. Hopp and Spearman fundamentally distinguish push and pull according to whether or not a system enforces a limit on work in progress. A pull system is one that enforces a hard limit on work in progress or inventory. And typical examples of pull mechanisms are Kanban and Con Whip. On the other hand, a push system is any system that does not enforce a hard limit on work in progress. Workflow control and customer fulfillment policies are independent decisions. This matrix offers examples of each possible combination. Starting at the upper left, a restaurant and a battlefield or emergency hospital are both examples of make to order, yet neither enforces a limit on work in progress and thus both are push systems. On the other hand, an elective surgery center is a pull system because there is in fact a hard limit on work in progress enforced by the number of beds available in the hospital. Toyota is a make to stock firm because they construct automobiles on speculation, inventory them at dealer lots, and then sell from inventory. However, Toyota of course aggressively implements Kanban in its production system, a firm work in progress limit. Finally, many consumables are make to stock, but for various reasons such as market speculation or environmental factors, clearly have no controls over work in progress. A pull system offers benefits such as faster flow time through the system and lower investment in assets such as partially completed product. On the other hand, a pull system risks hazards such as stocking out or greater order backlogs. Conwhip is the simplest example of a pull system. A single set of physical cards enforces one work in progress limit across the whole system, and the count of cards is fixed. When work enters a job, when, when work or a job enters the system, a card is affixed to the work. If no card is available, the work or raw material must wait outside the system. When work exits the system, the card is detached from the work and carried back to the start of the system for the next job to enter. The upper limit on work in progress is thus equal to the count of cards. Here I demonstrate a Conwhip system with two work centers and a card count of 10. The system starts at rest with 10 finished jobs, each holding a card, sitting in finished goods inventory at KB. Action starts when product is consumed or pulled at C. This frees a card, which travels back to the entry point of the system, allowing a new job to start its progress through the system through work centers A and B. And then when this work is complete, when this new job is complete, it joins the inventory at KB, and the system returns to its resting state. A Kanban system differs from the Conwhip system in that a separate set of cards is dedicated to each work center. Here the function of the cards is similar to what we have just seen in Conwhip, but now there are two card loops, each separately dedicated to work center A and B. Because of the separate card loops, at rest inventory is also evenly distributed between A and B instead of accumulated at the end. For comparison to the Conwhip system, we now have two separate card sets of five cards each. At rest, there are five units of inventory at KA and KB. 
Animating this system, first we see consumption of inventory at C as before, but now the detached card travels back to the front of work center B, where it attaches to work in progress at KA. At the moment of attachment, this job releases its A loop card. The A loop card is then free to travel back to the beginning of the system and attach itself to new work entering work center A. When work on each job is complete, the system returns to a state of rest with five products in each finished work inventory. Each of these systems may be modeled in an arena discrete event simulation. In this model, a, con a conwhip make to order system is implemented. The light blue area is the zone of flow control. Cards are modeled as additional resources that the ent entity must seize to enter the zone of control and release upon exiting the zone of control. This simulation model implements a Kanban make to stock system. Two separate resource seize and release loops emulate the Kanban cards, and a closed entity loop simulates the flow of finished goods and raw materials. A random flow of customers simulates the consumption of inventory goods and the possible delay in a stockout condition with a match module in arena. To summarize, a pull system enforces a hard limit on work in progress or inventory. It may be implemented as a con whip or con bond card system and may be modeled using discrete event simulation software. The number of card resources set the work in progress limit and any additional work must wait outside the shop until inventory has dropped below the limit. If time allows, you may work the exercise workflow control, which I will distribute on request.